Hey friends, happy Friday. Um, I'm just checking in because uh, tonight is was supposed to be the night of our lock-in. Um, our plan was to have a Martin Luther King Jr. weekend lock-in where we would come to the church, the youth would play games, um, have some fun with Christians and Romans, um, and we would have a service project and a discussion about justice. And then we would go to sleep, and in the morning people would join us. Adults in mission were going to join us, um, God Squad kids and parents, and we were all going to be working together side by side to serve others in our community. Um, that was a great plan, and I was so excited about it. Obviously, um, things change, and we weren't able to do that. Um, and that's disappointing. I'm disappointed because this was going to be the first lock-in for a lot of our youth. Um, it was also going to be the last opportunity for some of our young adults to uh, participate in a lock-in before they head back to college. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot of opportunity and a lot of great things that were going to happen this weekend. Um, adults were going to be able to serve for the first time in a long time. Some adults would be doing their very first service project ever. Uh, it was just going to be an amazing weekend. However, that's not possible. Um, so this weekend looks a little bit different, but I wanted to let you know that one thing that hasn't changed is the fact that people need help. Um, the, the, uh, projects that we were going to work on have changed their structure. And so they aren't able to invite, um, teams in like us to serve, but, uh, they have shared that they still need a lot of help. And so um, while this weekend isn't going to happen the way that we thought it was, um, there is still a need and there is still the ability for you to meet other people's needs with love. This is Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Um, there's a quote that <clears throat> Martin Luther King Jr. is credited with, and it says, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? Friends, this weekend doesn't look like what we expected it to, um, but there is still so many people that have needs in our community, in our homes, and in our in our world. Um, you know them. You know people um, that need a loving message. You know people that could use um, just a text that says, how are you doing right now? Um, I'm going to post a link for some of the organizations that have reached out in the past 24 hours asking for help. Friends, uh, no matter what you do this weekend, I hope that you will be able to find time to serve others. The need is there, um, and if you can serve, uh, you can make a difference this weekend. Have a great weekend, my friends.